G'day. Here we have an integral that involves an exponential function as well as trig functions. Now the exponential function dominates in a sense and if we're going to integrate that an exponential with a function as its exponent then we want the derivative of the function out the front and goodness me that's close isn't it? What's the derivative of cos theta? It's I hope you realise, minus sine theta. So all it's missing is a minus sign. And this particular integral can just be handled like this. Put a minus here, uh, put a minus 1 times that out the front. So a negative times a negative makes positive, so it's really not changed the value. And we're left with minus or minus 1 times this and this is the exact derivative of that so the integral is simply e to the cos theta how simple that's if you understand the pattern now uh, if you don't understand the pattern I encourage you to go back and look uh, at my earlier video about how to integrate functions of the form cosine uh, form of e to a function of x but nonetheless I've used it the other method of course would be to substitute I think I'll do this quite quickly because I think if you've already learned integration and you're doing this for revision this should be pretty straightforward to you so we let u equal cos theta because that's the function sitting up here and therefore du d theta is minus sine theta so du is minus sine theta d theta so we took the derivative derivative cos is minus sine then we took the d theta up here and now we notice this that actually if we multiply both sides by minus one we get minus du equals sine theta d theta why did I do that? because here we have a sine theta d theta with no minus sign so I decided just to rearrange it and we can now replace sine theta d theta with minus du du and I'll leave the minus out the front because it's like minus one times it's if you like minus one times so it's a coefficient and e to the cos theta is simply e to the u because u equals cos theta so this equals minus the integral e to the u du which is minus e to the u plus c because the integral of e to the x dx or e to the y dy or e to the u du is simply the same uh, exponential which is minus and then substituting back in the e to the cos theta plus c same result again uh, same thing I'm saying in a number of these videos learn both methods, practice both methods, try to get used to patterns and to uh, substitution because there are moments in tests or let's forget tests, even if you find a job in a technical field and you need to integrate there are times when the pattern will serve you well if it's a fairly simple one uh, you'll be able to follow the pattern and, get, and solve the integral problem very quickly it's only if it's more complicated that you'll need to go the way of substitution. So I hope you've learned something, I hope you've appreciated it, and uh, I thank you for watching.